an electric powered molder discharging a bracket. A block consisting of purely organic waste material mixed with clay and a binder. What started as just an idea five years ago is now an income generating business by a young economist with a passion for renewable energy. I was working on, uh, on a program that was uh, focusing on uh, providing access to clean energy in rural and urban communities. And so I decided that, you know, this, this could be an interesting business opportunity and also an efficient way of providing these products and services to people through enterprise. More than 90% of the population in Uganda still cook over open fires using charcoal or wood as fuel. Uganda's environment body claims this has contributed to almost one third of the country's trees being cut down. The fact that uh, these briquettes are made from normal waste that you can collect from the market, from, the, from your household, or trees, from the leaves, or from the farm, or agriculture waste per se, means that they are actually not uh, a burden. They are not extracting something from, directly from the environment. So ideally, it is adding value to waste and then using that value to, to produce energy. Depending on the workload, Kaketo typically employs more than five people who operate the molding machines and pack the dry briquettes on a daily basis. About 250 kilograms of briquettes are made here every day. Many Ugandans prefer them to charcoal because they produce less smoke and burn for longer. However, the cost of buying briquettes is still not affordable for most low-income users. Now environmentalists want leaders at the Paris conference to address issues of funding to incentivize local businesses to cut down on emissions while boosting local economies. We need to use the solar, we need to use the biogas. And a number of private sector companies have come up with a number of technologies. But they need some push in order to enable adequate dissemination of these technologies to our people. However, even without assistance, Kaketo's business is already making profits. He hopes that with support, he will reach more people with his energy-saving briquettes and reduce the number of trees being cut down for charcoal. Michael Baleke, CCTV, Kampala.